name is Santosh. I am heading the IT department in African and Eastern. So, digital transformation has been in our agenda for quite some time. <clears throat> we started our digital transformation journey probably in 2019, where we found that that's a very positive disruption which needs to be done in African and Eastern. And we need to change the ways of working because the traditional revenue has been changed and we are seeing an uptrend in the digital revenue. So based on which we have started our journey and uh, there are a lot of initiatives which have been taken. We in fact coined something called as Go Digital. That's the tagline which we have given. And uh, based on the Go Digital platform, we are actually trying to put in various digital transformation initiatives under, under that particular platform called Go Digital. Uh, there have been various integrations which we have done with our vendors, suppliers, where we have a, an end-to-end -end solution which has been carried out and it's all been part of the, the digital transformation journey. And uh, it's been a, a pleasant one and we had faced a couple of challenges because first challenge is to changing the, the mindset of the people. So what we tried first is to have the digital culture embedded within the organization. And it is not a bottom-up approach, it's a top-down approach where we have the leadership has agreed on that and we started going down in that path. It's been a wonderful journey and um, we are still continuing in that journey. Diffusion of innovation, that's the key word which we are looking at. Acceptance of digital transformation is, is a key thing. And we have initiated various digital transform initiatives like uh, implementing workflows, RPAs, uh, to name a few. And uh, as part of the new initiative, the latest one which we have done is we have integrated with our the big hotel groups over here an end-to-end -end, uh, solution called uh, DCI. DCI stands for Direct Customer Integration and we coined under the platform called a &E Connect. So under a &E Connect, what is happening is we have the system-to-system -system integration done where there is no manual attempt at all. So the purchase orders coming from the customer end gets directly integrated through the middleware to the a &E systems without any intervention, without any human error. So uh, that's one of the latest initiatives which we have taken and it is called a &E Connect. The another initiative which we have in the pipeline is to have Insta ERP or called uh, Smart a &E, where all the robotic process automations, the mobility solutions are all coming to be coined under the Smart a &E solution. And that's also something we are definitely looking forward to implement in African Eastern. Uh, it's been quite a pleasant journey and uh, looking forward to have much more initiatives because I just think that we have just touched the tip of the iceberg in this journey. One of the key services is implementing workflows internal and external within the organization. Now, internal workflows, we talk about uh, user onboarding, we are talking about uh, customer user offboarding, uh, know your customers. These are a couple of the internal uh, uh, onboarding sessions which you have done as part of the workflow. Externally, we have creating something called uh, a partner portal where any information to, it's a, to us as a customer from uh, the suppliers, it's everything is getting routed to the partner portal and it is a, uh, a one place or one stop solution where users can or the customers can join us through the partner portal and can post their queries and get to know the status of it. So as part of this, we have initiated our B2B uh, initiatives, our B2C initiatives. It's all going wonderfully well under the digital transformation initiatives. We do have multi-cloud environment in African Eastern. We do have uh, our primary cloud is solution uh, solution provider is Azure, Microsoft Azure, and we have with Oracle also. Uh, the the challenges is the seamless flow of data between the two clouds. That's one of the challenges which we are seeing because uh, we have probably the AD in one side, the application are signing on another side, and we're talking about uh, a single sign-on solution. So it's it's a challenging way of uh, handling it, but uh, both the systems are, well, both the cloud solutions are matured enough, and uh, we have actually went a long way with Microsoft Azure. Uh, in fact, Microsoft is looking forward, I mean, to have a case study with us, because there are, we have recently done a DR as a service, where many of the customers probably done a drill on seeking the things which is working on the cloud. What we, on the contrary, 
what we did is we just didn't do the drill alone. We, as part of the drill, we made sure that whatever transaction is done on the cloud, we reverted back to the on-premise, which was a fail back to the on-premise. And um, we successfully did it after running for 72 hours in the cloud as part of the DR drill. So Azure was very stable in that respect. We had complete support from Microsoft and our partners. And uh, it's been a wonderful uh, event also. Uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, yes, OCI. We have our um, supply chain applications running on the OCI, Oracle Cloud. And it's been uh, also been quite stable. We don't have, we didn't see much of a challenge with that. But uh, talking to each other, yes, it still needs to be matured. It's going to take a little more time to get that maturity level. So um, it's been a wonderful thing on that as well.